The following program is brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization. Educated. I'm your host, Amber Rose Bentley. I'm Swade Elliott. And I'm Adam Farrell. And Adam's showing a lot of skin today, or the lack thereof, if you want to say the least. <laughs> right. It's it's definitely the very Ron Burgundy of him. <laughs> he is Adam He can Farrell. be our ginger burgundy. Ooh. I'm going all out, guys. I have a new segment today, and I'm very excited about it, so <laughs> I decided I was going to dress up. And hey. none of our negative energy is going to hold you back. That's well, the right. best way for me to dress up is to dress down. <laughs> I, I mean... When yeah. you're already that good looking, <laughs> how else do you get better looking, you well, know? Yeah. Amber, you exactly. keep on putting out there, we're going to get naked. Adam's just taking the first step. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't say who was getting naked or who was going topless. <laughs> he looks better than me naked anyway. Let's be real here. I uh, look so you good. You really think so? I look no. so good. <laughs> I know so. Oh, you're right. You're so good naked. I've never seen either one of you naked. I mean, we're going to have to. And you never will. <laughs> We could change. Well, that, that. ain't love. Yeah. That ain't love. <laughs> um, today we have a couple of news topics. Oh, we're going to get into uh, who's having sex, just in case you want to know if your neighbor's having sex, if we're having sex, whatever you may need to know about it. And then we're going to talk about some news topics. What do we have in the news today, baby? Well, the first one is actually kind of interesting. If anyone watches TLC, there is uh, the Cheer Perfection mom that got arrested for having sex with a 13 year old. <sighs> 13 years of age. 13 years of age, yeah. How mature and, were you at 13? I'm going to say that again? How mature were you at 13? I mean, I don't I don't think I was doing that at 13. I don't know. Maybe we were talking about it or watching porn or something, but... I, think I, was I mean, I think I grew up fast, but, I mean, we didn't have sex when I was... Yeah, I, I gave, a, so I gave we, a couple handy J's. At 13. <laughs> at 13, I gave a couple handy J's. The shoe definitely fits. Aww. <laughs> no. Nice. But, yeah, so she... Anyways, but it, it, being that we're here in Florida, I didn't think... I thought that was relevant to us it seems like there's always a teacher having sex with a kid or something yeah, like but that this but this is in arkansas yeah this is in arkansas i mean even worse yeah right <laughs> i'm surprised um, it wasn't her own kid. although although like, what is happening in arkansas that's more exciting than this pretty much well, nothing. but at the same time arkansas stood up against her they sentenced her to 10 years in jail I mean, that would have never happened in Florida. No. And no well, no. how good looking was she? Probably. Was she a fat? Was she, she a fat? She was not, she was she not was attractive. Not oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's the, I mean, if, you, if you're going to have sex with a kid, you got to make sure you're kind of good looking. See, I, mean, I mean, she was no Deborah LaFave. I mean, oh, my drift. I, guess, oh, wow. I guess what you could have, I mean, the parents definitely filed charges because he was like, you know, if she had been a model, this would have been a totally different story. Exactly. I mean, if you had been an Amber Rose Bentley, they'd have been like, baby, you're fine. But, but she I, also kind of showed my boy the ropes. It wasn't like she took him into like the locker room after a practice one day and was like, hey, let's do this. Like she sent him sex. Oh wow! She sent him pictures of, of of her doing whatever to herself, and um, you know that kind of led to I guess whatever happened. So you know, ten years to me is kind of eh. it's fair. Yeah, she, well, I mean, well, she should have known better. She should have known better. The laws are in place the way. But they you're are. in public, and the, the other thing is you're in the public eye all the time. You mm -hmm. can't do stuff like that. That's, I don't even think it's so much she should have known better. Like she just shouldn't have done that. I mean, yeah. she should have done. She shouldn't have done it. But you got to think you already have like all these cameras on. You already have all this yeah. attention. The publicity. If, anyways. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're having sex with the money, you're an idiot at that point. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're already in the limelight, obviously it's going to just blow up even more. That's why we hear all the celebrity stuff that we do. You exactly. Know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what's our next one? Um, sex trends in Iran. That's awkward. Yeah. Of all places. Well, you know, Iran, you know, they're all religious and you're not allowed to do this you're not allowed to do that mm -hmm. you have to wear you have to be covered if you're a woman stuff like that yeah pretty much all mm -hmm. that like you so it's married. an islamic um basically well i don't know this is just for the country itself yeah yeah, yeah. okay from, from uh what i've read but basically people are doing things that are not religious it's a, a lot of premarital sex mm -hmm. um a lot of gay sex mm -hmm. it's a lot of things that are completely Wait, against isn't it illegal to yes. have gay sex there you sure is. it's illegal to have premarital mm -hmm. sex there oh oh it's well, illegal to have well, wait, wait, i didn't wait. know that what did they do what how did they go around it 
how they're how they're trying to sidestep it is like okay well now we're gonna have temporary marriages mm-hmm. which work in no way shape or form for anyone who's homosexual yeah in any way well that I mean that's, that's still considered death pretty yeah much. but for these people who are having premarital sex and like you know engaging in these relationships mm-hmm. they're creating temporary marriages so it 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 doesn't are they like fishing license Kind of, yeah. <laughs> you just basically a fishing <laughs> license. Like, if you'd like to go down to your local Walmart and get you one of them, like, pre-marriage license. Yeah, we'll just sign like, right here, please. You're yeah. okay to do this right now because mm-hmm. you're doing it. Mm-hmm. But when that ends, you kind of have to get married after that and, you know, make sure the next one counts. Like, it's it's, it's weird. Mm-hmm. But they're they're sidestepping their own religious beliefs and making laws that are supposed to... Just, just so that way it works better for their people? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they can't control their people. And their people are kind of making a mockery of what they're doing. So it's, you know. Yeah. It's, oh, so let's make this. It's like when the, you know, back in the Renaissance time or the medieval times where the uh, kings and queens, the guy, guys would just marry. Like, hey, let me get married to her. Mm-hmm. Let me get married to her just so I can bang all these different women and yeah. not be. Yeah. Yeah, could, like upon. Henry VIII had eight wives. Yeah, exactly. You know? you know, and then, oh, well, you can't get married in this church anymore? Okay, I'll start my own church. He did. He, That's exactly, exactly what he did. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so and then then there's a report done on this. It's an 82 page report. Um, they surveyed 142,000 people, and mm-hmm. they found they acknowledged that there was premarital sex. Um, that for that I don't know what that meant. The report <laughs> exposing the raw statistics of these incidents has been withdrawn from the government's website, mm-hmm. although Fox News obtained a copy with. And then 17 percent of the 142,000 people surveyed identified as homosexual. Oh, and 80 percent of that's what I meant to say. They found that 80 percent of females acknowledge premarital sex in Iran. Interesting. Well, I mean, but that, then again, is, they're taking steps forward toward women's rights and everything else, aren't they? Exactly. But yeah, they're starting to make more of a, a I think I think a religion it, for them is starting to do what like Christianity has done in our country. You realize that they oh, that used to be bad, but now it's it, even though they know it happens, it's just frowned upon. It's not necessarily like, oh, you're going to hell anymore. Exactly, but 80%? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're talking and I mean, that's a huge number. Yeah. That's that's most people yeah. in Iran. And yeah. obvi- and obviously they still want to turn it away because they mm. they took it off the website the minute it got posted to the government's website. And maybe the government down. just didn't want everybody else to realize that they were actually having a shit ton of sex. I mean, do you think Iranian guys have big penises? No. Well, maybe, I don't know. If you I mean, have an Iranian penis, I would like to see it. Hell am I yeah, if you'd like that. to send in that picture, have absolutely no problems. Yeah, we, we just want to judge it. I mean, mm-hmm. it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be different. It could be cut, uncut. Who if knows? you send it, it to me, we're going to have an issue, bro. Like, I don't want an Iranian penis. <laughs> please well, if you send it to Adam. If you please send, send, yes, please send it to Adam. Adam will forward it on to I us. I mean, yes, I showed you my chest hair. That doesn't mean we're friends. <laughs> so, I'm like, come on. I mean, that's pretty personal. That is pretty personal, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, but I, I, I cannot get over that. Like, mm-hmm. in 17% identify as homosexual, that is a huge thing there. That is like, you were not allowed well, to be gay. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah but see, but, that's the one thing that, that you know, there, there is no substitute for. Exactly. You, know, you can't it, have a temporary gay license. You know, like, at you least were with gay male, for a week. female relations, it's like, oh, well, mm-hmm. you can be temporarily married and we'll try to blow this under the rug. When you're gay, it's just kind of like, well, no, screw you. You're still. I, I wonder, though, if, they, if, 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 if the study was done and the reason why they didn't mind filling it out is because it was supposedly anonymous. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was totally anonymous and they knew that there would be no repercussions for clicking that box, then they felt like they were okay and they were actually doing something. And it might be a wake-up call to their government, too. Because, I mean, especially with gay movements through different countries and stuff like that, it's it's now, I mean, it, it, like, for instance, for the, the Olympics, even though Russia has a law against homosexuality, it was totally ignored for the Olympics. Exactly. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. and, but the other thing you have to think about that is, in any survey, and anyone that has any kind of research degree, they know this, mm-hmm. surveys are, you know, usually people don't report or report more of something. Yeah, You're it's not usually gonna, pretty, yeah. it, I mean, there's a margin of error, but they're, they're usually pretty accurate. Pretty, well, and, no, mm-hmm. but you have, okay, if you think about it like this, 80% of females mm-hmm. or ha- acknowledge having premarital sex, yeah. they were willing to do that as, like, you know, in the survey, there's probably a higher number. And the, the there same, probably is, and the yeah. Pro- and the same with seven, and, uh, 17% identify as homosexuals which is crazy because that is a large percentage yeah no that is a large percentage because in america i think there's uh 298 million people and three percent of our eight million people 208 308 million people oh 300 it's gone up okay so but but regardless the last study where it said the 298 million uh three percent of the population said that they were gay which is a huge number but that right there is even bigger i mean yeah and i mean i mean the numbers are smaller obviously but still just for just have that small amount of number to have 17 percent of those that's crazy and i mean that's not that's and that's not like we're not talking about hundreds Mm people we're talking a hundred thousand like 142,000. that's a large survey that's yeah and and, and so i feel like like you're getting I wonder an what their population assembly. is. Ooh, we should have looked that up. We should have. 
Well, we don't. If know. you know that population, you're, you can always send it to us on Facebook. Or you can just send us a picture of your penis. Or how or, safe it is to take surveys in Iran. Uh, yes, or, yeah. yeah. That's the other thing. How safe do you think it really is? Because, I mean, I would, even well, if they said well, it was do, like. Do, anonymous, the other thing that bugs me is like, it, it's in. I, I don't even mean this to be political, but you know our news source is Fox News, mm-hmm. and that's see that's the other thing I was thinking of when they said Fox News obtained a copy. I was like, but really, Fo- I have to say Fox, it's Fox News. News. Like, but I don't you know, know like what like, they. But I'm Fox, a registered independent, but when well, it comes to Fox News, like more often than not, I'm like, eh, well, I'm like okay, regardless, yeah. regardless, so Fox it, News probably just <clears> did it and put it out there just because that the country probably thinks it's an embarrassment. So you know, they're because they're definitely an antagonizer. Yeah, and no, I mean it probably is true. As much as I hate mm-hmm. to admit that Fox yeah, News yeah. is horseshit, um, <laughs> we're going to be taken off the air right after this. By yeah, the way. I know, right? Um, but we've I, had enough of these sexually educated <laughs> bastards. <laughs> they just called us horseshit. These but pricks. either uh, way, that's them. That you see, that was them. <laughs> <laughs> we just heard vibrations in the house, guys. Uh, if we get cut off, just you know, let already us, sending out the drones. Um, so anyways, but yeah, no, I feel like um, I, I mean they they probably did. It's like smite. Yeah. It's like we smite you. Guess mm-hmm. what? Ha. Huh? Yeah. So I mean, I feel like they did it just to be a dick but they still I kind of this is one of those things that Fox News put out that I'm kind of like okay this is probably logical it, well I mean if it's a it's study done, it, there's, are, there's really no point in lying about it well, well they can't and also you know the mean, facts like are right there for people yeah. to see they exactly. can't misconstrue yeah. that type of thing but you know good for them good for them I mean that's progression that's progression that right there that definitely is so Amber, uh, we are also uh, doing something else this week. Yay! Aren't okay, we? so we have this new. We're doing games every week. If you couldn't tell, then you're dumb. But that's cool too. Yeah. Um, so Last to, week's was amazing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so this week our game is called Head in the Gutter Hig for short. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna read some clues that sound dirty but aren't, and we're gonna try to guess them, and then we're gonna have a caller call in and kind of give or answer our own clues and try to guess mm-hmm. them. And we yeah we have three clues already for the caller. So if you call in, we'll give you the three. This clues is also assuming then, one of you call in. Yeah, this would be awesome. If you don't, then you kind of suck at life. But I swear, just a little. I swear if, if you're you watching them and before, you don't I would be in. so mad. If you're, if you're watching and you're not calling in, I mean, you're not a true fan. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> I'll, I'll start with head in the gutter or hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm pink and moist. Mm. Uh, my juice makes you pucker. Ooh. Is this my coat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm split down the middle. Mm. This is turning me on reading these. Down the Should I read them again? Is it is it a cherry? Watermelon? No, no. you each get three guesses. By the okay. way, okay, I'm, I'm down. I'm cherry, down one watermelon. Already. I'm pink and moist. My juice makes you pucker. <laughs> I'm split down the middle. That's my porn voice. <laughs> it's, it's the greatest not, thing I've heard at like, least in a month. <laughs> it's not like it's not it's not like a form of bubble gum. No. Too no. Mm. Do I need to read it again? Yes, no. we yeah, I can't read it like that because you're not done. even paying attention to what I'm no. saying. No, read it like Bane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pink and moist. <laughs> no, don't do it like that. I'm Groot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pink and moist. My juice makes you pucker. I'm split down the middle. Mm. <sighs> Come on. Um, so we both have one guess. I've, I've, you know, I have two. I've already um, done two. Lips. No. Oh, Son that was a good one. Bitch. That was a good. That was a good one. But how would my juice make you pucker with? Well, <laughs> is it a gusher? Lips, wrong lips, buddy. It's not a gusher. No, you're I, done. I'm done. One more. Think, think, fruity. Right. A I'm Twizzler. Pe- I said fruity. You well, guys, Twizzlers are pretty fruity. Okay. Is that all three for yes. both of us? All right. What was it? Grapefruit. Oh, that's a good one. It was that was good. a good one. You guys it does suck. make me pucker. Son of a bitch. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll, I'll go next. I spend all day banging. Uh-huh. Second one. Yes. I know how to work a stud. A hammer. No. You're already down one. <laughs> and then. Wait, wait, wait. I can bang all day. I know how to work a stud. Yeah. And then I pound away until the head is in. A jackhammer? No. Close. Er. A closer. sledgehammer? No. That's two for you. Son of a bitch. I mean... It, okay. It's, it's a, it's, read it again. Okay. I spend all day banging. I know how to work a hard stud. I pound away until the head is in. Um, you said sledgehammer. I said sledgehammer jackhammer. Hammer, jackhammer. hammer. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, again, I spend all uh, the, the good. There's a good clue in this one. I know how to work a hard stud. Hard stud. Hard stud. 
We have a caller. We have oh, a caller. We have, we have awesome. a caller. Hold on. Well, the caller can wait till we figure this out. Well, the caller. No, right. the caller can go. Ca <laughs> caller, you can come in. Can you? No, I mean like bring her in. But oh yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello. Hi. You sound really sexy and like you have a fat butt. <laughs> Thank you. I do. Does she have awesome. booty? What's your name? First time caller, by the way. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, first time caller. Awesome. We popped your chair. For that, for that, I'll rub Adam's chest hair. Oh. Oh, that's the. Uh, What's your name, sweetie? Oh yeah, right there. <laughs> Shay. What's your Ooh. name, sweetie? Shay. Shay. All right, Shay. So we have yes. three questions for you. Are you ready? Yes. All right. I'm mounted by experts. I'm fondled by winners. I'm an exciting climax. Mm. Ooh, I thought that at first. Read it again, sexy. Is it a camera? <clears throat> yeah, hold on, hold on. No, no, I'm not a camera. That's one guess. All right, one more time. I'm mounted by experts. <laughs> I'm fondled by winners. It's Bane voice. <laughs> I'm an exciting climax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. It's not a camera. Is it a record or a CD? Does that count as two guesses? No, no that's only one. That's one record CD. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, it was it was, hard. well, it was wrong. So yeah. That's what she said. Um, okay. Do I have to be sexy? Hmm, uh, mounted and fondled. If you want to hold on and wait, mm. think about you, it, we'll get back to our clue and then we'll give you a minute to think about it, okay? Okay. Yes. Awesome. Okay, wait. Good. He's going to read it one more time. I'm mounted by experts. I'm fondled by winners. I'm an exciting climax. Okay. All right. When you, you ponder that. Yeah, if you can get it, if you can get it before we can get this one, uh, I'll love your booty forever. Is it a movie? No. Oh, so that's her third guess. <sighs> Oh. No, it wasn't yeah, her third sorry. guess. Yes, that was her third guess. Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Do you want us to right. tell you the answer? Could, are we gonna let's, just, let's just go ahead and tell her the answer. Tell her. It was trophy. It's a trophy. Trophy. Oh. I know, right? Just like you and became a trophy on the sexually sucks. educated wall. Uh, of who people we higged. We higged uh, the shit out of you. We, you just we got did. higged. You just we, got higged. We higged the shit out of you. I'm sorry, what was your name? Shay? Shay from... Damn it. Shay from where you at? Where do you live, Shay? Clearwater. Awesome. Shay from Clearwater has been higged. All right. All right. Yeah. You, well, and also just to let you know, you are the first higgy. Woo! So Ooh. we enjoyed we we'll, enjoyed we'll, it with you. We'll get the folks together later on in a later episode that did not win, and we'll figure it out. So um, anyway, so we'll get your contact information later, and so on and so forth. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good Thank night. You, bye. Thank you. All right. So. Back to what I was the, again, okay. Adam. You've guessed two. You've guessed one. I spend all day banging. I know how to work a hard stud, and I pound away until the head is in. I ah Amber Rose Bentley. Uh, I mean that that is a very good guess. <laughs> I, I, that is a very good guess. I feel like I just won. Yeah, you. Mm. I mean, you definitely it was close. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it was a carpenter. Oh, studs in a wall. Yeah, that was. I liked it. I thought so it was sexy. Some awesome. call me Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right? You have been called Jesus. Some people call me the space cowboy. And wasn't Jesus a uh, carpenter? His daddy was, I think. Oh, something Joseph. like that. Yeah, okay. Whatever. It was yeah, He worked under him. All right. So, <laughs> okay. Adam, what are your three? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm squeezed into a tight hole. <laughs> you can yank me off. <laughs> a couple of stitches can tighten me up. Are you a shoe? No. Okay, read it again. I'm squeezed into a very tight hole. Okay. A foot. You, you a foot. can yank me. Not a foot. Close? You can. No. You can <laughs> yank me off. A couple of stitches tighten me up. Is it an umbrella? Nope. I'm, o for two, big guy. You have yeah. me. You. Uh, uh, I can fit into a tight hole. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, you can yank me off. A couple of stitches. You said shoe? Up. Yeah, I said shoe already. Didn't you say shoe? I did I say didn't shoe. Say Is shoe. It? I a foot. Well, you're over two shoes. I don't yeah. know who said what now. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. Is it some? Oh, I can't do it. I guess I can't ask questions like that. Um, Is it a cut? I don't know. Over two. Okay. Over two. Is it? Is it a football? Why would you be able to 
yank a cut off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what I'm kind of stuff she's football. into. A football? You said a football? Yeah. You're out. Oh, I'm man. usually way better at this. Can I have a hint? No, because I didn't get a hint. No one's even scored on this game today. I know, right? We'll have to Between get the three this. of us, there is one of them. A vagina. Oh. A button. A oh, button. A button. A button. That that's gum. Horrible. That's great. Huh? I hate that. Well, you oh. told me to pick it. You can you... squeeze it. Oh, get I get it. Your button right there. Yeah, and you could yank it off and be like, I, like oh. Uh, before the end of the show, I will hulk out of the um, suit. You jacket. rip your jacket though. <laughs> yeah. huh? Don't 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 break your jacket. No, I'm not actually going to do it. I'm just trying to make sure they yeah. keep watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> nice so that that was yeah. Hig. We'll continue to play that. Uh, Maybe we'll some get better at it. Like, yeah, later I think on. that I pay way much to, to like way too much attention. To I the don't know. Stuff. I just think it made me a little bit horny, and I was I like, I just can't think right now. <laughs> I know. Uh, Especially wrong, when he was using the Bane voice, I was like, the wrong heads thinking right there. Yeah. I mean, Ooh, me I just keep on buttons are your I just keep eye. on mm. saying over my head. I know how to work a hard stud. Uh, <laughs> I'm pink and moist. Um, anyways, okay. so now to I'm our I'm still topic. Adam. It's fine. <laughs> 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 okay, so now to our topic: Who is really having sex? Yeah. Um. Obviously, we didn't understand. Like, we didn't understand. No, it's not that. We just didn't know <laughs> the frequency in which Iranian people were having sex. Especially it was shocking. Marriage. Very shocking. Homosexuality, mm-hmm. how prevalent it was. So we decided to go into further and get into who's really having sex sex yeah. here there and everywhere um a couple of things we found out is america compared to other nations um americans lose their virginity to 18 years old is uh people in israel use that lose theirs usually at 16.7 so 17 so we'll call that 17, much 17. 17. Yeah. okay so regardless but that's still i mean you would think that in a country like israel when did you lose your virginity how old were you 18 how old are you adam 15 all right now was 16 yeah, so, I mean, Got 17, you bitches beat. 17, I guess. 16, yeah. 16.7 would be mm-hmm. the number there. Yeah, Ryan, it'd be our average. Right, right there. Um, and then sex satisfaction. Um, I don't know if this surprises anyone, but uh, sex satisfaction is highest in Nigeria, where it's at 67%. Big old dicks. Big old dicks. Mexico. Big old, for the big, old mm-hmm. big old dicks. That's what it is. It's just a big old dick. I mean, and they have nothing else to do. I'm sure they run. <laughs> they run. Yeah, run to the place they're going to have sex at next. <laughs> like that's I'm just saying, you know, I'm sure they do something. But yeah, I mean, hunts. I, I don't so know. So Nigeria, where are we in this list? Like, where's the United you, States? I will tell you. Fantastic. Mexico is at 63%. Mm-hmm. America is at 48%. America. 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 48%. 48%. And then Japan, Japan is at 15%. No shock there. So, yeah. if we're, okay, listen, if we're thinking about this, like, penis size-wide and sexual satisfaction-wise, um, it makes sense. 65. I'm not saying that they have to have big dicks, but, I mean, I, I, I would this the, the, the stereotype is that, like, Asian men, Japanese men, blah, 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 all have small penises. Exactly. And so, black men, Nigerian men, yeah, would, would have would, huge cocks. I mean, so. that would be, the, and it's not always probably the case, but I mean, yeah, more than less. <clears throat> but we also forty eight percent satisfied with sex life. Do you think that's people that are also like in relationships, or do you think that's single people? Or? I feel like I, I read a report before that said that um, people in um, relationships, committed in relationships, actually show more sexual satisfaction. Yeah. Which, if you think about it, anytime you've had a one night stand compared to a sexual relationship, especially if you're Adam and like that, yeah, um, <laughs> it's way better for you. <laughs> uh, you do. Yeah, there you, I mean, you win today. There's nothing I can say to I don't insult know what you. Else. Yeah, right. No, 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 there's nothing. No, today I'm flying high. Today I'm doing good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you are. That's right. He's on cloud um, nine. I'm living the dream. Would you? Would you? Would you agree with that statistic, Adam? Would you say that you think 48 percent of Americans are satisfied with their sex life? I think anybody who's having sex on the regular or like having sex when they want to is probably happy. <laughs> but what Just having sex in general. No, but I'm saying like that encompasses a lot of stuff too. Yeah. Like you can be like, oh, I'm happy sexually. But you're not also enclosed in the fact that you're sleeping with 14 different people at one yeah. time. Well, hey, whoa, so whoa, whoa, whoa. It's kind the of a broad statistic. Are real. But I'm so, what? Where the I come from, are real. Where, where I come from that from, we call that a gangbang. Yeah, exactly. Just a good old, exactly. good old fashioned gangbang. You said 14 people. So where I come from, time. we call that normal, and that's fine. <laughs> Me and Amber, we both came from Hudson. <laughs> oh. Me and Amber were actually There's involved a bunch in of at hopes. least three gangbangs we didn't know each other were at. I mean, we found out later when I found a semen in my hair and we no, tested I, it. And I came to the first show we did and she was like, oh, yeah, man. You know, like, I, I want to talk about this one gangbang I was at. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah. Like, when was it? And she was like, oh, it was like back in like 2006. And I was here in this complex. And I was like, oh, shit. Was it the one with the where the one guy had, had the hose and the, and the mask Adam, and things? This about, is and I was like, crazy. yeah, all right. So. And you were the guy with the hose and the mask. Yeah. Yep. That was the Always that, Well, that's how yeah. I knew she you was were, there. You were my yeah. favorite, though. Absolute um, favorite. Anyways. But yeah. no, like, I, I do think it's very. Um, 
like saying you're satisfied and saying you're a good human being are two different things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. You know, true story. But I mean, uh, and then we we went into the fact that like I mean, this we're basing this on penis size, but we also have to think about the women involved because yeah. sex takes two. Yeah. And I feel like guys, it's easier for them to enjoy sex anyway. Because well, like, it, it, well, there's a, there was a and, and another study said that says that 75 percent of men always orgasm, but yet only 29 percent of women do. Ex- exactly. So. so you know, I, I, what if the sexual, like, if it could be between all sexes, it could say that the men are usually maybe more satisfied, maybe some of the women are less satisfied? And may, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. but there's a lot of variables. Like, yeah. it, you know, if you're talking about just, you know, satisfaction as far as orgasms are concerned, that, that could be one thing. But, like, I don't know, like, you know, sometimes for me, like, when a girl doesn't get off, yeah. that upsets me. Yeah. Even if I did get off, if a girl didn't get off, that upsets my sexual satisfaction on the overall. Yeah. yeah. No, I think Well, that makes sense. So That's because you also want to take care of whoever you're with. So, but there's just too many variables there, I think, for like one, one actual. Well, also on the same topic, I was looking at comparing and contrasting, uh, like between like uh, straight women, straight men, men and lesbians and all uh, going all the way through. And what's bizarre about it, it says that actually women and gay men, whether they were straight or lesbian women and gay men were having about the same amount of sex. All those straight men were not having, I mean, from the study ways, were not having as much sex as either the gay population or the women. So the women are just having sex with each other. Yeah. The only thing is, like as we were discussing earlier, like the thing is, it doesn't say anything about bisexual people. I wonder where they fit into that equation or I, if they just identify one way or the other. I feel like I feel like in those, in those studies, you, in order to get someone that was bisexual, first of all, you have to... I guess you would have to kind of give this to like, what is bisexuality? Mm-hmm. Cause you just said earlier, your friend refuses to identify as either or, and a lot of girls do. I mean, I don't really like to be called bisexual. I like what I like. I'm free. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, yeah, that's how my friend is. She's, she's like, yeah. I am just who I am. I, I'm not, you know, sometimes I find very women, some women attractive. Sometimes I find different men attractive, you know, like where for me, uh, uh-uh. like, I mean, women are beautiful and everything like that, but I'm not sexually attractive. Exactly. And the, I mean, <laughs> I feel like in that study, you would have to identify completely yeah. identify what is bisexual because mm-hmm. you would have women like that or when mm-hmm. you, you know we don't identify as bisexual but mm-hmm. we might have those same sexual tendencies yeah. so i mean i think there's a gray line there which might be why it's not studied mm-hmm. as much it could be we'll see with all this being said like how many what how many what do they say about americans that are actually having sex well it depends <laughs> on what you want to know um single people men prefer like this is single men are having sex a few times uh per month to weekly <laughs> the ages between 25 and 29 are the highest which is mm-hmm. 27.1 mm-hmm um, percent of those of that age range is having it well that's the highest yes and percentage of that age range is having it okay so that's the okay. highest percentage and then two to three times a week is 18 to 24 years old mm-hmm. and uh and 40 to 49 years old and they're having sex eight mm-hmm. percent at an eight like that eight percent of yeah. them are um the same statistic for women single women 25 to 29 weekly 24 percent and then 18 to 24 eight, 18 point two percent but i'm wondering if this is logical are guys lying? Because those aren't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's, it's the statistics don't add up. Yeah, exactly. Well, the only thing I'm taking from this is like lately I'm, I'm behind the curve. <laughs> so, or, or what it could be, I what it could be is and, and even in your study versus my study, maybe the women weren't totally honest or maybe the men weren't totally honest, you know? And, and again, that's any mm-hmm. t- anything you have a survey like that. The fun part was, um, the frequency of sex with partner couples. This is just one thing I found really awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, the highest for a few times to week is, was uh 70 years old and older yeah i I know my grandparents have had sex i mean like i've heard it and i'm just like oh but hey but at least they're still old and having sex i mean i want to be that age and i don't want to think about that (laughs) yeah well and i mean you heard it but i didn't hear it yeah no but think about about it it this way when you're are you are you going to want to have sex at that age hopefully yeah i mean if i have to take a pill i'm going to do it i'm not going to make it that i mean your grand i love your grandparents but they're so old yeah, like I'm, well, I'm not. I'm not going to get there. That's sixty three percent though. Partner, that's not married. Yeah. That's partners. So that's well, like people. I wonder. I wonder if you know the thing that is most people are retired usually by then. They're spending a lot of time together. I mean, maybe that's the reason why. When yeah, I'm but retired, what do you have to have do sex. physically to still have sex at that age? Honey, when you retired, you'll probably just become a madame. I would. Oh, I could. I totally you should. Would, you would be so good at it. Could I just watch people have sex all day? Yeah, you could actually just record it. Oh, that's what that's what I'm going to do when I get when I retire from sexually educated. I'm just going to be a madame. Yes. You, there you go. You're going to become a madame. Yeah. 
That's right, our home. that's our next business venture <laughs> Wait, take, together. Uh, you guys take over the show. I'm gonna write up a contract. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, well, and and that being said, um, uh, it also said that average couples, um, uh, whether they be straight or gay, actually, oddly enough, it said you know straight monogamous and straight and gay monogamous, which was uh, the highest percentage of the people that were surveyed or whatnot, were actually having about the same amount of sex. Yeah. So when they were in a relationship. Um, and it said also that average couples do 20 minutes of foreplay. That's a little too much foreplay. But an intelligent seems, couple does 20 minutes of foreplay as far as I could say. Well, like, you know what the thing about it is, though? Like, when you're having sex, 20 minutes is actually, I mean, I'm not saying, like, from beginning in to a control end, 30 situation, or more. But that's a lot of time no, when you're moving so like, much, you know? If you're both going to bed and, like, you're slowly warming up to each other, like, 20 yeah. minutes isn't bad. Like, if, if, if you're coming home to just try to get to pound town as quick as possible then no you probably don't want to waste 20 minutes fucking or, yeah you know doing well, I mean, like but, for, you, but, but for women though i mean because like i know like i mean sometimes just walking in the door dropping but, pants and going to pound town's hot as no and that's what i'm saying like sometimes 20 I minutes of foreplay it's so good. sometimes 20 minutes of foreplay is warranted and yeah. other times two minutes of war you know foreplay is all you really need so it, yeah. it definitely you know, depends on the mood it definitely depends on the mood yeah. where you're going what you're mm-hmm, into mm-hmm. like you know, or, or what's what's pre-discussed? If you're on a short time frame, whether or not I'm wearing yeah. this jacket, I know. That, yeah. I mean, at that point, foreplay is not even necessary. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go as soon as you I, see that I've, chest hair. I, I've, I've never played fourth in this jacket. And then they no. say that the average amount of actual sex going on, like actual intercourse, like insertion of some kind or or whatever, is actually only three to eighteen minutes. I see. I, I this is my thing with sex. If it's boring, I, I, give me ten minutes. Let's go. You know, like I don't. I don't want more than see, ten minutes. But I'm, but I'm thinking on the lower. They said on average three minutes. Uh, what is that? A put in yeah, and but, come immediately. Yeah, but, I yeah, mean, yeah, exactly. How does that work, Amber? You also probably know how to use a D to your advantage. Am I wrong? <laughs> well, like I you mean, can be like, <laughs> she is the queen. I am. You probably know, like, hey, this the is queen boring, indeed. but I'm gonna make the most out of this as I can, and then after that, we're done. Am I wrong? Ex- oh, I've done that so many times, okay. and I literally <laughs> told them after, like, I was like, I, I'm too old to teach you how to have sex. Yeah. Like I, I don't like it. Like I got mine. Yeah. You didn't get yours. I apologize. And I'm just gonna call someone out. Have you ever done that to a man? Have you ever got yours, but he didn't get his, and you were just like, I'm done. I mean, oh, I got a story about maybe, that later. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, if, like if we're drunk or something, I got mine, and you didn't get yours. I'm not. I don't care. And they're like, Well, are you gonna? Yeah, you're not gonna me? play with whiskey, dick. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, I'm good. And they're like, Wait, what? I'm, I'm, I'm good. You like just I just roll over and. Exactly. First of all, if a guy managed to get you off on whiskey, dick, give him a high five. As is. Yeah, but no. He still doesn't deserve to have his own. No. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, you put in enough effort. But he probably to go wouldn't anyways. Soldier. I know. I know. Like when yeah. I have, like when I'm having sex, and like if I'm real good and drunk or whatever, a lot of times I won't come. Like, yeah. I, like I, it gets going, and like you know, I'm hard and all, but See, then, I'm if it takes cool too long. Sometimes, cause like sometimes, like I don't need to come. Yeah, no, that's me too. Like I don't. came twice. We're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. I have like I I, you, have a, you have like a good hour and a half before I'm like ah, I'm done. Like yeah. especially drunk sex. You said hour and a half. Yeah. You would let it go on for an hour and a half. I used to, yeah, I used to have sex with this guy for like two and a half hours and like we'd stop. Like not, like, oh, okay, there were breaks. No, we stopped like for 15 minutes, smoke, yeah. smoked something that was completely legal. And then. Cigarettes. Yeah, Salvia was, makes you so weird. Yeah. No, so but anyways, weird. continue. Uh, and then we'd, we'd each get a drink of water mm-hmm. and then we'd go back at it. That's, and that's, it was how, that's how me and like, a good friend of mine are. That's what we do. Like we'll go, we call them rounds. It's like, yeah. you ready for round two? And I'm always like, yes. Exactly. That's. You know. I mean, it's a because good because it's kind of like a boxing match. So, so yeah, well, no. I mean, it's not. It's well, it can well, someone's be someone's hitting the other one over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I am still not seeing the downside to that statement. I don't. I don't. I don't. Um, but so, what day would you think that people have sex most frequently? Thursday. Adam. Friday night. See, that, that, uh, here's Friday the deal. Night. I actually, I actually thought that it was probably Saturday night because most people it was don't Friday work or on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, but it's not. You're people, busy, you have, you're busy during people, the weekend. Don't you dare say Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Are you <laughs> Tuesday is the most frequent day for people to have sex, which really think I was thinking about it and I was like, when's the last time I had sex? And I was like, oh, last Tuesday. I had like, s- it was last Tuesday. But it's probably because everybody hates, like, Monday sucks. Yeah. But, like, we all rationalize Tuesday as that day before hump day, but we're always like, what day is it? Oh, it's Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so that's hump day, but. Tuesday, Tuesday I feel just like, blows. Like, Tuesdays, I feel like, is the forgotten day. Like, I never get anything accomplished on Tuesdays. You don't go to the DMV because they're half awake. That means they're half asleep. I'm trying to be pes- I mean, optimistic here. But it, nothing happens on a Tuesday. I mean, even depending on what industries you work in and everything, Monday's usually the, oh, hell, I'm back to work. Tuesday, yeah, it's the day before Wednesday. But if you can go to Happy Town, you'll go to Happy Town on Tuesday. Exactly, and then you'll be happy for the rest of the yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, there's nothing maybe wrong every, with that. And maybe everyone thinks hump day's really Wednesday because, here's my logic, 
I know it's the middle of the week. Because blah, blah, blah. It's, a, it's, it's going into Wednesday morning? Yeah, yeah. exactly. They're winning. And then they're super, and they're super happy. Like on Wednesday, they're like, yeah. And they're like, what? I got humped last night. And they're like, oh, today will be hump day. Yeah. I just figured out the logic. It's like a double okay. entendre. I know. I know. It's, hey, it's guys, amazing. it's hump day. <laughs> right. Well, I get it. It's the middle of the week, yeah. <laughs> but I humped last night. Yeah, right. Well, actually, this morning. And I got the middle but. of my torso <laughs> touched last night. What? <laughs> Uh, awkward. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> All right. That. So, uh, so are there any other interesting facts that either one of you guys have? Um, not really. I mean, the married people, the the highest rate for married like sex was mm-hmm. thirty to thirty nine percent, or uh, thirty to thirty nine years old was fifty percent. Well, that's still good if you think about it. I mean, I yeah, mean that's breaking hip territory. Uh, no, thirty to thirty nine. <laughs> no. Aww. Poor well, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. If, if having you, sex, it's it's just not the same kind of. I, th- sex I feel like I feel like I, well, like uh, for me, for instance, the 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 sexual encounters I've had, I've always felt like the people that have been in that age range, are, are, uh, it's good. Yeah, it's no, good it's with awesome. them. It's I really, awesome. so I can really you imagine think, when you're thirty nine and you're sleeping with a forty one year old. Can you imagine that one? You're on their level, and two, they're on your level. Well, that's only two or three years, yeah. No, but it's going to be awesome. Like, you're young now. Oh, yeah. You talk about dealing with them when they're older. You're like, oh, man, I'd love dealing with an older person. Imagine when you're older and they're older. Yeah. I'm Both of that gonna sex is going to be gonna magical. Going to want to have more sex, too. It's going to come on, take a magic gonna carpet like, ride. It definitely. And well, the thing about this is, well, like. Plus, they probably are more comfortable with themselves and their bodies, too. Hey, and that's a big thing. Women, mm-hmm. especially. Well, women go into their, like, sexual peak in their 30s, 30s yeah. to 40s. So, mm-hmm. that's so obviously, that would be why. So, we, you pre-peaked. I, I mean, I've been peaking since I was like 12, so <laughs> I don't know how much longer I have at this stage. Um, 14 years is a long time. Um, and then, um, but I mean, this whole thing, and women usually come into their body and respecting their mm-hmm. body and loving their mm-hmm. body at 30. They're just like, okay, yeah. well, it's not getting any better and it's not getting any worse. Let's, yeah. you know, let's keep it where it's at. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, women start loving themselves more at 30. I could see why you'd want to, I mean, because sex is all about confidence yeah which no is, i agree which is where we were like when we we're talking about like different nationalities if you think nigerian women probably have a different set of confidence than a japanese woman probably true because yeah. ja- when you know in uh japan the culture is so stereotypical and superficial exactly that you have to fit a certain stereotype well, and, those, and, and those exposing your more body dominant. is not a big issue in nigeria no no not no, at all but, 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 but in, in for, japan it's looked down a little more on but, exactly. but in nigeria women are also uh, you know uh, allowed to not i mean they, they're they're uh, J- japanese women are dominated more than likely than none yeah. the men and the men are always the more dominant roles whereas in nigeria you know the women can probably take the dominant role too exactly and i mean mm-hmm. I, I also feel like you know they're they're naked all the time or not even not, not i mean that's stereotypical they're not always naked but at the same time they're more they're accepting mo- of their bodies because they don't have the pounded in you know society norms yeah to they us. don't see it they don't Nigerian see a maxim magazine on the counter yeah like, nigerian women can't necessarily like take charge more like be more in charge of, uh, of the relationship but they're appreciated more for their efforts yeah well i mean because they you got well, no, you know. no 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 that's not necessarily true like i mean nigeria like uh, even in political thing women ran run a lot of that no and i'm saying that's fine but i'm saying like there, there's no like social norm as to who should take yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, like whatever mm-hmm. responsibility but you know it's, it's easier to be sexualized in in a culture where it's it's okay to not work you know, not wear so many clothes. Yeah. And, yeah, and not even just that, but they're, you know they, like, but that's not the whole think, population. We're thinking about no, what you I'm see on like, the national G, but they are no, more comfortable saying, with like, their bodies. They're not as close minded, but yeah, they're, they're yeah. way more comfortable with what they have. Exactly. And, and showing it off. And yeah, that's yeah. a cultural thing. That's, that's, that's not so much like a, um, a woman's rights thing. That's just, this is who we are as a country. And yeah. We're okay with being like, this. well, and, and, okay. So like people being comfortable with things. Um, I read another statistics, which is very interesting. And I'm going to ask both of you first, when you have sex every single time, do you have oral sex? Not every time. If I mean, if I'm lucky, yes, but not to. every time. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. I, the yeah, the next one is it said I, 60% I percent of people that are down. having sex, 60% of people that are having sex uh, always start out or have oral sex along. So that means there's 40% of the time people are having sex that they're not having oral sex at all. And you know what? They did not pull any gay people for this. I know they did not pull not one gay because that would have been 98.2. That's the way you start <laughs> this bad boy. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a lawnmower. You just know where to... <laughs> go whoa you know. that that just happened all right piggy that, that was yeah, cool yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, did you see that i got a big mouth i got a big mouth I mean, there's nothing wrong with that and apparently he likes wide fat long black things so <laughs> we have something in common <laughs> <laughs> you would say that i wouldn't would you? Um, so with that guys i will retire my name's adam Perl. <laughs> all right so we're about to start yeah do you want to introduce this segment yeah oh um yeah uh we talked about it last week uh, i mispronounced it but it's drunk sex with adam and uh, I, without explaining too much uh, Richard, do we have it queued up or are we ready to go? All right. Um, I'll explain it more in the video, but basically, I, like I said last week, I, I wanted to film somebody telling me a story while we were both drunk. 
and we were all having fun. And uh, I was challenged by the girl who actually filmed this video, Alex Cleave, to give the first one. She goes, if, if you expect all of us to get drunk and tell you our story, you should do it yourself. So here's awesome. Drunk Sex with Adam. Enjoy it's it. It's amazing. Enjoy Watch it. it. Hello. Welcome to Drunk, drunk Sex with Adam. I'm your host, Adam. Get ready to hear some freaky ass shit. All right, so the point of this segment <coughs> was uh, for have, to have you guys get drunk and tell me your stories. <coughs> However, I figured I would break the ice and tell you one of my own stories because, um, you know, it just seems fair. If I'm going to expect you to come get drunk with me, I should get really drunk and tell my stories with you. By the way, this is my home. I don't know if you noticed. It's pretty, this is where we film the show sometimes. It's, it's, it's a nice place. I don't like it. <clears throat> Love it. Okay. But I feel like it's fair that, you know, I tell you guys my shit before you tell me your shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright, so here's Danny Fazioli. Danny Hello, Fazioli. sir. Good to see you, sir. Good to see Good. you. This is, uh, this is one of my best friends, one of my favorite confidants. And I feel it's only appropriate that if, if I expect you to tell me your stories, I should tell some of my story. So let's, you know. I bet we're here to listen. Adam, D Daniel, uh, do you remember the subject matter? Because I, you told me there was a drunken story about you. Whoa, wait! I know where you're going with this. Where are you going? <laughs> where is? All right. Um, I'm gonna tell it like, uh, what was a little, what was a little uh, 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 Sicilian woman in Golden Girls? A little, little mom. I don't know why you're going there. <laughs> Tampa, 2005. <laughs> But you no, know, I was like just in the college. Yep. And um <laughs> this girl that I had went to like pretty much all schools with ended up at a party of mine and we had never particularly gotten along. Okay. And uh long story short, the party goes on, I end up uh courting this fine fe this female. It's being very charming right now. I'm I'm being chivalrous. Okay, so you court this lady for the evening. I'm so taking I, it, you're I, drinking as well. We are, we are drinking heavily, and I'm only 18, so... <laughs> I was drinking like vodka and root beer. I don't even, I, I, I don't even know what was, what was in there. That's not his and favorite there, drink of choice it was, nowadays. It was, it, was, it was terrible, but... <laughs> okay. So anyway, my one roommate, who he will not be named, but he sucked. He passed out on the couch. And I hope he watches this. That <laughs> <laughs> guy sucks so bad. Okay. All right, so he passes out on the couch, and homegirl, homegirl, is like, "Yeah, let's, you know, let's go." <laughs> What's she didn't say let's go have. Sex. I hope but she didn't. We knew that that was going to happen, but we had like a hallway into our rooms. First um, off, hold on, not to interrupt, but what did she look like? You gotta give us a description here of what we're dealing she with. She was mediocre. <laughs> she, <laughs> mediocre at best. <laughs> Medi it's not the most descriptive, descriptive term, but... I mean... You were attracted to her, obviously. Well, I was wasted. I was wasted attracted. Well, I was I was more drunk than I was now. Like, okay. right now, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've got the bar set. So we'll you're going... this beer and we'll figure it out. <laughs> But no, like... You're going down the hallway. So we're going down the hallway, and I see that my roommate who has passed out on the couch, his room is open. Ah. So I take her into... The available room. I'm like, I'm just going to have sex here on his bed, because it's there. He should have slept in his own bed. But I start with, like, my normal, my normal routine. Okay. Where I try to go down on her. And when I say try, I mean, like, I really did try. Like... <laughs> Proud of you for trying. You know, dude, like a put. I, I remember, I remember kind of feeling it as my head was going down there anyway, like kind of smelling it. Uh, smell what? Once my head, the, the poon, <laughs> so bad. Oh my god. It was so bad. So you're sensing this as you're going down. Well, I kind of felt it. I felt like felt it was gonna it. happen. Oh, okay. 
But at, at that point in my young age, I was only 18 years old. Right. I <laughs> get down there, and I'm trying to go to town. Like, I'm trying to go to work. I'm like, all right, well, let's use the tricks I've learned. I I know the interwebs. You know, and I'm trying to do all these things, but it just smells awful. <laughs> How long did you go through this process? A solid fucking freaking beep. Um, maybe a solid two minutes. But long story short. Okay. Long story short. <laughs> I get tired of this, so I, I, I end up posting up, and I'm like, I, I can't go down there anymore. So I stand up, and I put, I, I put my fucking, or my, my hands. I'm sorry, I'm swearing so much. It's okay. But I'm putting both of my hands on on the back of her kneecaps, and I'm pushing them forward, and I just start going to town, like okay. a pound town. I'm like this is the only way we're gonna salvage this situation. Find some victory in it. But the the smell of her uh, hoo ha. Yes, it was smells. cotton here. It was oh, because you still had this this beard going on, didn't you, at the young age? Yeah, well, I had a goatee. You had the goatee. I had a goat. I had a goat. But it oh, <laughs> absorbed the stain. So I pulled one of these. I was like, out of nowhere, I'm like, I can't handle this, and it's not my bedroom. So I, I went and like le- like leaped forward. I went, uh, uh. and then I came forward and went. And she was like, really? And I was like, yep. And I got up, and I walked right out of that room and into my room. So you faked that part, is what you're saying, because of the fake orgasm. I faked an orgasm. I faked I faked an orgasm. Just to end it. I'm pretty sure most men have never done that. It's something I've never done. And just amazing me like that. No, I, I did that. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, I love you guys. Thanks for watching the show. But sometimes men get weird, too. <laughs> uh oh. Um, I hear you. Sorry, hear that? technical difficulties. There okay, we go. There we go. Ah, oh, oh. sorry, sorry. It's whatever's on. Never mind. It was me. It's my fault. My yep. feet were sitting on something they shouldn't have been. I'm sorry for your ears. So, so Adam, the flavor saver ruined your evening. Um, I don't think that's what ruined your evening. Well, I'm just saying because it shaped. It shaped my sexual adventures for the years to come. Did you? Do you now have a policy or a way that you go about smelling before you go down? Yeah, it's pretty simple. If I can smell it before my head's down there, then it's <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> he was young and dumb and full of gum. Young, young and dumb and full and of gum. And dumb. you know what? I even stored that cum just so I could go to my own bed and sleep. So, well, Adam, I think that was an awesome segment. I think that was amazing. Yeah, but the point is, is um, I've done my own. I, I do have a few lined up, but any of you who have watched, who are willing to get drunk, and it could be getting drunk with me. You can get drunk with Suede. You can get drunk with whichever one you want or all three. The point is, come over, get drunk, tell us a stupid story. And um, and we're here for you. you. Know, we're definitely we'll here on. for you. It'll be fun. Um, it is that time of week that we all love and enjoy. It's the, your birth control reminder, your weekly birth control reminder, because we want you to tap it as much as possible. But what would you, we like you to do before Hard. you tap it? Uh, wrap it, honey. Wrap it, yeah. Wrap it. Wrap but it. Take if care you're of gonna it. slam it, just slam it hard too. I mean, I feel like it's one of those. I feel like it's a hard week. Like you just need to take Mama down to Pound Town. Okay, it's everybody likes that every now and then. Exactly. But make sure you're using birth control. Yeah. Make sure you're birth control or, or condoms. condoms. Even if she has to take her birth control with a shot of Jameson. Although, did you down. hear that? It, that did it, you it, hear it doesn't down. affect it. If you can take it with the alcohol, yeah, it doesn't affect down. it. Did you uh, hear that though? The last uh, two decades, birth like teen pregnancy rates actually gone down. So a round of applause to all of our viewers out there. That's amazing. We haven't been around that long, but we're sure that we had something to do with it. Yeah. None of you are from me and Amber's Well, we're just hometown, getting smarter. But. We're just getting. I mean, they're even. <laughs> We're, they're oh. talking about our generation. I mean, how many people do we know that are in their 20s that don't have kids? Well, I, no, there's your generation. Me, and then there's the, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's where generation. we came from. Well, I'm only like two years older than you. No, we're talking about Hudson. Generation. Oh, Hudson. Oh, gotcha. It's not our fault. No, so. but I, no, for real, though. It is. I mean, I, I do see that going down. and I see awareness. But, you know, you still do your have your. Yeah. Your teen shows that are making yeah. it way too easy. And again, we've always told you if you need condoms or anything like that and you were of age, have no problems. Just send us a Facebook message. We'll make sure we get some out there to you. Exactly. And depending on what get you, maybe we'll send you Magnum Extra Larges if we feel you need it. Like, yeah, whatever you, know, you need, or dress be smart. If, you if, should if, need If, some if you're going to go out and you're going to drink and you're going to have fun, you're going to be around the opposite sex and you think there's a slight chance you might get laid, bring some condoms. Bring yeah. something. Yeah, be just smart keep about be responsible. It. You know, pre-game, plan about it ahead of time, and, you know, yeah. that way when you're all drunk and wondering, what do I do now, you're not going to have to worry about it. Yeah. Sounds great. Okay, so what's your quote of the week? Oh, my quote of the week is actually from a dear friend of me and Swade's, um, Jeff Florio. 
Jeff Von Florian. And Suede was in uh, Nashville, but I me was. and uh, Danny, who was uh, actually the other guy in the uh, interview. The film. Um, me and Danny went out kind of against our will to go meet Jeff and our friend David at a bar. And we walk in and Jeff freaks out and Jeff's all drunk. Long story short, at some point in the night, this lady walked up to the karaoke thing to like put in her, her like karaoke slip. Mm-hmm. But the karaoke guy was playing Nickelback. Mm-hmm. And the girl walks by and Jeff goes, I wonder if she does ass to mouth. And then I went, well, how would you be able to tell? And then he waited for a minute. And then, like, as she handed over the slip, he, like, listened to the music, and he goes, Nickelback brought her to the stage. She does ass to mouth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, so Nickelback. Uh, one, it was very fitting for Jeff Lurio, but I also think it was fitting for Nickelback fans, though. <laughs> if, if, if they, bring really care they all do ass to mouth. If, Nickel, if, a, if a girl is a fan of Nickelback, she does ass to mouth. Yeah. I, th- I think that's a pretty good assumption. I mean, I don't listen to Nickelback. Do you do Ask Avril Mouth? Lavigne is going to no. marry the lead singer of Nickelback. Or she did marry the lead so singer. So she definitely does Ask the Mouth. So she I must. think we knew that, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, probably <laughs> yeah. so. I do, do believe. Oh. Um, also, real quick, this is actually uh, sexually educated. Um, is, is, is We're going to be at there as well. But on August 26th, there is going to be a bougie event. And bougie. everyone is cordially invited. Um, it's going to be at 3 o'clock, basically. Uh, Adam, would you like to explain what that the bougie event is? Post. Uh, the bougie event is we're going to meet at Logan's Roadhouse on Anderson Road in Tampa, Florida, in front of the AMC Veterans. And uh, every Tuesday they have a two for fourteen ninety nine value meal. Yeah. So the point is, is uh, come dress up, dress up pretty much like me. Just wear a shirt if you have as much <laughs> chest hair as I did, because I already regret this. Yeah. But the point is, dress up, come, eat for cheap. After that, we are going to head to Ebor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I, and at that point, we'll probably end up at Bad Monkey with our favorite bartender, Drew, who will Drew eventually Benny. end up on Drunk Sex with Adam at some yeah. point. So, But that's the plan. Logan's Roadhouse, 3 p.m. Tuesday. So, and remember, dressed up in your finest attire. Yes. For some cheap ass food. And that's going to be August 26th. Uh, me this and Tuesday. Adam and Amber will all be there. So, we are actually also the host of this bougie event. So, uh, event. come out, have some good time, and we can do some dirty sex talk. Well, we want to meet with you. We want to talk with you. Uh, you know, chances are, if, if, if you're in front of us somewhere, if, if you're with us, we could we could post you on Instagram, we could post you here, we could do whatever we want. So. Yeah. Or you can ask us any of your sex questions, sex advice. I yeah. mean, we do get them on a regular. I did actually get a sex question that is leading up to our next week's segment, mm-hmm. um, and it was about anal or uh, using toys and butt sex and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I felt like I gave a great opinion. I felt like, mm-hmm. I, you know, whatever. And not opinion, but knowledge based on what I know. And it was awesome. I love that. If you yeah. want to contact any of us and give us your sex questions, you want our feedback, do it. That's what we're here for. That's and, and, what we love. And usually when we get something like that, we talk about it amongst ourselves and we figure out what the best answer would be for it. So, And you have you a know, bunch of different opinions and exactly. we, we talk to people. We keep you anonymous. It's nothing we're like, well, like, oh, this person said this. No, you're anonymous. With, uh, you anonymous. Know, like, anonymous. You got it. You yeah. guys got it. Yeah. But we're we, on Facebook. We don't, Please come find us. And we don't Our judge. We don't judge. We we have no room to judge. Let's be yeah. real. Do you so, see this? So Do you yeah, see that, this? so that <laughs> no yeah, room right. to judge. So that way, that being said, our next week's topic is anal wait, sex it, and anal, anal play. Sex. It I'm almost looks ex- like a heart. I'm I'm very excited about this. Not the chest hair, the anal sex versus anal play. Yeah, yeah, the um, chest hair is what I mean. I know chest hair is the thing about it is though. I mean, I, I, chest hair is not a bad thing. I, I think that some people should have to leave a little bit of chest hair. I think it's hot. I'm not into body hair. I'm going to say two things. One, that is the nicest thing he's ever said about me physically. <laughs> that is true. That <laughs> is I do appreciate true. that for my best friend. I finally appreciate that. But second of all, it, it, it's, it's definitely one of those weird things. Like there are girls who aren't into it and there are girls who are, I'm not. Who, who are totally mm-hmm. into it. And like when I mean totally into it, like it's, it's almost like. I think. I, I almost think I get Do you prefer your women hair? Sometimes based on how hairy I am. Like, like sometimes like a, a girl put her hand up my shirt. And she's either expecting like some crazy, because the way I look in a t-shirt, apparently, mm. girls don't really know what they're in for. <laughs> so they're, they're either expecting like- That's because like, you shave your like, neck. Well, they're either expecting like some crazy, like, you know, like abbed out, pecked out body. Or, no or one's expecting that. I don't think they're expecting that, no that expecting Adam. That. They're not expecting that. Sorry. No, they are. Trust me. I'm so sexy. <laughs> but they go up. I'm so sexy. And uh, they end up bringing this you field of hair. Know. They run into this, essentially. But they yeah. run into this, and, and, and a lot of them like it. Some women do. So, now I got a question though. And you you in dating women. What about? I know it's not Amber. And the one time me and Amber got together, she ignored it, and I appreciate <laughs> that. She also waxed it off of me, and that was a whole different. And just so everyone knows, Adam has been drinking heavily this week. No, I'm just. <laughs> you guys talk about me drinking every week. <laughs> That's because we all drink every week. That is true. Okay, so let's get to <laughs> our tip of the week for our this week. Tip of the week, yeah. Just the tip. I think um, it's very fitting. 
this one's kind of dear to me. We talked earlier about uh, the, the cheer mom thing, mm-hmm. and we're not trying to get into child porn or anything, but porn trying to make is respect sexual maturity. Yeah. Exactly. Um, he, you don't know what you're doing to these young minds. I mean, if, if kids are 13 years old, they're just starting to discover it, and if someone that's older takes advantage of that, you could actually be causing issues later on for them. Uh, yeah. Well, even you still, know. like, that's illegal, but even still, if you Well, if, beyond the legal... If you're 27, mm-hmm. and, and I'm saying this mostly to males and, and not women... Well, women I, do it, too. Well, we do, though, do it, too. No, women do it, too, but... Women do it strategically, kind of. Yeah. Less strategically when it comes to 13-year-olds. Well, 13 so Yeah. Less than 13-year-olds. But they but, have to be but, strategic But somehow. for all those guys out there who are 27, 28, 29, and some 19, 20-year-old girl shows interest in you, yeah, does she want to bang you? Yeah, is that cool? But understand what you're getting yourself into. Understand what you're doing to her. Respect the fact that she's 19. She probably hasn't seen what you've seen. Yeah. And she's probably intrigued by what you're doing. But that doesn't mean it's right to, to just throw all that. But, but if they're kind of legal, them, you know? I don't know. I have a different opinion on it. I think if they're legal, well, that's, legal that's, 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 that's their own. Don't manipulate somebody. That's yeah. what and, I'm and, and I think I think that is what it is. Don't sex, use sex yeah. as manipulation because somebody's younger and less experienced. Yeah. And no, it, that makes no, total and sense. It, and it's really, in sexual maturity, I also believe, like, when you do, you know, show something, some, you know, all these guys are like, oh, this woman mm-hmm. taught me this when I was this age. It shouldn't have happened like that. No. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you, you learn on your own. You learn, you know, based you, well, on experience. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, sometimes you learn things that you probably shouldn't have known. And then anytime you try having sex with a girl your age or at your maturity level, it's not there. Yeah. No. And that, yeah. and that. You're taking, you know, you're, you're, like, for, I mean, I, for, for me, like, I, when I was a little bit older, I had sex with an older guy, but. In general, you know, I was able to develop and 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 so with people of my own age group and so yeah. on and forth. Like, granted, I, the first time I had sex, I thought it was awesome. If if I I still remember it being awesome, but I'm sure if I actually went back physically today and went back, I'd be like, this sucked. Yeah, this was not well, that great. Like, but I was able to evolve. There's nothing wrong with being older and teaching somebody how to, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. like like they go on, you know, like Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I'm going to teach you this. Yeah, that's fine, but. If, if, if you're in a situation where you do have to teach somebody to be on your sexual level, mm-hmm. respect where they're at yeah. Yeah. as yeah. you're doing it. Don't just be like, oh, I'm going to whip you. I'm going to choke you. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to throw you through Unless the, they're into you know, that type of thing. But, but how do, how do, even if they are, like, you know, mm-hmm. respect where they're at, know where you're at, and, and, and know well, the difference if you're between... At 19, if you're at 19, you probably had sex with, um, depending on who you are, five to ten partners. Probably. If, most, if, if you're most, 29, yeah. you've probably had sex with anywhere from... 10 to 25. 20 oh, and to, there's a very wait, well, what 29 line. are you talking about, boo? <laughs> Not my 29, of course. <laughs> no, um, or mine. Yeah. But the point is, is like when you're the 29 year old and you're dealing with that 19 year old, you yeah. But then respect again, I, where they're at. I yeah. am 29 though, and I to be honest with you, I won't have sex with a 19 year old. Either would I? I would never even. But, but, I would but, never but, even give someone the idea that was 19. If I would, I'm 26, mm-hmm. I would never even get like. I, I look at them and I'm like, uh, you yeah. don't have anything for me. Like there's someone that hit me up recently and they were like. Their maturity level. I remember hanging out with them one time, mm. and I was just like, well, "We're not even on the same level, mature wise. I can't even touch you because it's just it, you're weak. This would never work." Yeah, but it isn't. I think that's what also makes it for, so like when but we Amber, hear you about are these also people, an extremely evolved. Yeah, well, yeah. But I think that's also what, what, what makes us so baffled by like the, the TLC woman or like these teachers and stuff like that because most of us are that way. We're not going to turn around and say, oh, that's a 13 year old looks awesome. He looks hot. You know, that's never going to happen. Well, what the three of us have in for, common. For us. The reason the three of us are hosting this whole show together is like we respect something that's better. Yeah. We respect love. Well, actually, I think we respect somebody who knows what love is. So it's, 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 it's easy. Well, it's, I think that's also because we respect sex itself. Yeah, that, yeah. And that's what I was exactly. going to say. We respect we, exactly. sex, the education, mm-hmm. the knowledge, sex, yeah. what, what it does. What comes I mean, with it, what goes with exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. If you're a 28-year-old woman and you're having sex with an 18, 19-year-old guy, you could pretty much run his life and make him do exactly. whatever you want because you're showing you him something. Never, and that's where he's going to, you know, respect that, you know, he's not going to be on the same level and you could take advantage of that, but don't. Yeah, don't. It's easy to, but don't. Think about what you're doing before, like, like, you know, if you're going to lick it, think before you stick it. You and know? if you are one of those younger lick viewers it, who are watching us, just, you know, make sure you know that when we talk about the younger person, we're talking about you. Yeah. So make sure to watch out for these Because as mature as you know, think well, you are, you're probably not. Well, and, and also, it doesn't I love you. I love you. And what I love about these two is that they're, they're in the same generation as me. Mm-hmm. We grew up. I'm not. <laughs> we grew up kind of beaten up. Honey, we might be a little but bit more we were never evolved. naive. And some of you guys are kind of naive. So just be smarter about well, sex. Be, be, you know. But it doesn't, you know, and to be honest with you, though, it doesn't only have to do with age. It's just sexual maturity in general. If Don't you meet someone that's not, yeah, Don't be exactly. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this has been Sexually Educated for this week. Next week, we're going to get into anal play versus an anal sex. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if you're not into it, just listen to us. Watch us. And you we'll, might learn something. We're not going to coerce you into watching it. Yeah. We, we just want you to be informed. Yeah. If you make the choice not to have anal sex, then we're just informed.
informing you about what it is about, yeah. what why people or like it. The thing that I think most people are curious about anal sex, exactly. they're just afraid to do it. Or anal play, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean. So And also, we'll have a new game next week, too. We will. Our uh, new game, new, what's our new night game? Stereotypes. stereotypes. Sex so, stereotypes. Which is I think is awesome, especially with that. With that. So Exactly. All right. So this has been Sexually Educated for this week. I'm your host, Amber Rose Bentley. I'm Swade Elliott. Adam Farrell. We'll see you next week and stay wrapped. Always. And executed. <laughs> that was awesome.